we have hope. I want to remind you the word that my sister Howard she said in the beginning that we need unity. Unity is the main key for us to work together and to change the situation on the ground. The situation in Darfur is not going to be changed without the change in all Sudan because the Darfur is just uh, a sample of the general policies that's going on in Sudan since 1956. So the root cause of this kind of crisis and chaos is in the central uh, area, which is uh, in Parto. So the ignorance of international community to al-Bashir crimes that they have been committed in Darfur encourage him to continue the same policies of the wrong, uh, loop-sided government systems policies uh, in the rest of the areas. And right now, that kind of ignorance encourage him to commit the same crimes and wars in South Sudan, Lua Mountains, and Blue Nile. And even right now, his uh, army, uh, uh, what's called the, the Ugandan rebels, uh, used to call his uh, rebels, uh, their names. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. 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 Right now, he one of the uh, the most wanted war people in the world, inside the Bashir Kony. Uh, there is some evidence and document that uh, he armed them and he gave them like a uh, safe haven in uh, uh, South Darfur. And everyone who is thinking that he can do something with uh, negotiation with uh, this kind of regime, I think he's deceiving himself. So, the fundamental uh, problem of the country is the elite in the center and the wrong policies that uh, they have been adopted since 1956. So we are in that, we in that form, uh, we suffered the genocide, the biggest genocide in the 21st century. And there is like uh, the disaster in every kind of aspect. Uh, there is lack of, uh, of uh, security, which is like uh, any woman who is one, uh, want to, just to go to, to collect like the firewood outside of camps or IDB camps, uh, they can. Men immediately uh, he will be killed. And women, the government using rape as one of the tools or methods of a dehumanization of the uh, our community. And why they choose rape as one of the tools? Psychologically, it means that, and even not even psychologically, it's one of the culture that the dark poor and especially the poor people I'm talking about. Their kingdom system was material. And if you dehumanize, if they dehumanize women, that means they are destroying whole tribes. And that kind of things they created in uh, intelligence center in Khartoum. And at that time, I was uh, a witness for that because at that time I was working in the uh, central uh, things. And at that time, the leader of that kind of organization was uh, a daddy. And inside the intelligence department, there is a tribe which is called Department of uh, Tribes and Ethnic Issues. So within that kind of tribe, uh, department and ethnic issues, and Dabi, he raised this in, uh, even before 2003. But as a part of culture, even those Janjaweed, their culture sometimes is uh, denying them to do that kind of thing. But after they use as one of their tools, they use widely, and separately, and they affect uh, our uh, women. And that kind of dehumanization is uh, affecting us and is destroying us psychologically. So, if you defeat it by, uh, psychologically, so you won't be able to start even uh, by your weapons because you already paralyzed and you have been defeated. That kind of psychological issue they are using as a weapon. But since you know it as a one of the weapons, we care of it. But we are uh, taking another measure uh, to deal with it. So they are using rape as, a, uh, as a one of the weapons. They are using starvation. They are uh, expel all organizations. They are using some organ local organization as a spies. They are spying on behalf uh, of their uh, intelligence. They are killing our students. They are killing our uh, uh, youth. So we don't have anything remain. We don't have anything remain that we are afraid of. So we are not afraid of anything that is going to happen to us. Just our willing to liberate our enemy. But 
Our land, which is right now occupied by the new uh, resettlers, those whom they brought them from Niger and Chad and Mauritania, and this kind of policies, uh, it was going on there, and even the United Nations is a witness. Because in 2005, we raised this as one of the awareness that the Sudanese government is bringing uh, some Arabs from Niger and, and Chad, and they reported, and they said that yes, we saw that and we counted like 300,000 mem uh, members, but we talked to the Sudanese government and they convinced that those people they have been as a part of the Arborian, but because of the uh, desertification and famine, they left the area and they went to Chad and Niger, and right now they are returning back to their country. So, the United Nations, they know it. But, why people they don't stand by us? Because uh, first of all, the Sudanese government is backed by the Arab League. And even within the Arab League, the Sudanese government, they are uh, trying to convince the Arab League that they are ad uh, uh, adopting the Arab the Arabization, Islamization policies. So that they can Arabize all communities. And uh, even you can see that within the, the curriculums. So, Within the education, they geared the education system to Arabize all society. So the only Arabic to be spoken by all, and Islam as like the uh, only religion to be practiced by all. So with this kind of policies, the Arab League is backing them. Especially like Saudi, uh, Qatar, Egypt, and all Arab Leagues in general. They are backing that kind of criminal group. And those defenders, because they are not Arabs, and they don't have someone to protect them or to talk behalf of them. So right now they are victims. But all over the world, everyone within the free nation, they know that the crimes that committed in their court, it has never been happened uh, since Holocaust. Everyone, they confess. But because of the interest of international community interest within the uh, Sudanese government and Arab League, we are the victims. So since we are victims, we have another tool we can use it. We have to organize ourselves because uh, we are not going to wait anyone to come to defend us. But as a moral obligation for international community and those freedom only, they have moral obligation and it's a part of our constitution in the United States. It's a part of our constitution that uh, there is moral obligation is leading us to, uh, to try to protect those uh, defenseless and we have to interfere to stop genocide anywhere in the world. But what should we do as a community? First of all, without identification of the disease, you won't be able to cure it. One of things, the unity. Unity of what? We have to put vision or objectives that we are going to achieve. So our unity has to be unity of objectives. One of our main objectives, how we can change the main regime in the uh, cabinet, which is the, the, the main causes of this kind of a, a crisis and chaos all over the country. That's the main object. The local object is how to stop this kind of genocide, because the genocide is going on since 2003, and the government has used many kind of tools like divide and rule policies within the tribe and within the community. So right now we have to try to deal with this, to organize ourselves, to unite ourselves locally. We have to deal with the others, organizations, they have the same objective or similar object, uh, objectives. And then from there we can start to make the, the general change. Uh, thank you for, uh, for you all, I think I just continue talking, but uh, it's really sad. What's going on there in Sudan is really, really sad. Uh, uh, even it's required us to be more organized and to put our priorities. For us here in the United States, right now, everyone who is citizens, he has to use his vote as one of the uh, weapons or tools to make that change. It's coming election. And uh, even if there is any debate in the future, Go to Twitter or go to Facebook or go to uh, any one of these missiles 
and food like uh, how to stop uh, uh, to stop genocide in Darfur as one of the main questions. So to be raised and to be uh, debated within the 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 candidate. So if you are active, your case will be active. But if you are sleeping and you are depending on the others, I don't think we don't have money because uh, all the people they are working within their interests and lobbies and lobbies they are working free. Lobbies they are getting paid. And uh, when I was in Virginia, there is one of the uh, Congress uh, men in North Carolina. 